we're in a pretty good patch here. It's kind of prehistoric. Look at the size of these big ferns. These are a very old group of ferns, pretty old group of ferns, the Osmondaceae, that's the family. And this one, here's one of the easier ways to recognize it because, so this is a frond, like the leaf of a fern, and this has a separate one that's just a modified frond. We call it a spore fill because it is, the fill kind of represents leaves, and the sporal part is because this is where the spores are produced. So we have the sporophyll, and in this case, it looks like cinnamon. And uh, it also has, if we look at the very bottom, we will see significant hairy scales here, which also look like cinnamon. But it's not the only one that has hairy scales like that. But it will have this separate sporophyll that says cinnamon fern. Osmondastrum cinnamomium, cinnamon fern. And it's tricky to tell apart from one that could be right next door. Oh, look at that, and is right next door. See if we can find one that's open we can talk about. That's a pretty good one. So if you look at this one, this is looking pretty darn similar. Some of the scales down here, which look like the cinnamon fern scales. But now we come up here, we see normal penny and a normal frond. Oh, but we've got these guys here. And this is where, these are where the spores are produced on this fern. So notice on this one here, as we look at this, we're seeing normal penny down here. And we come up and you go, gee, these look weird. But you can see it was hairy and it is hairy. What we're seeing here is, notice this one has the typical penny underneath here. We get to these that seem to be a little strange and don't seem to be doing the thing. And then when we go beyond, we see that they're going to form normal penny later on. And thus, these penny have been interrupted by these, right? This is interrupted fern. Spores are being produced here on these uh, modified penny that have been modified to produce spores. So this is interrupted. This is Osmunda claytoniana, named after Clayton, a botanist of the 19th century. As we continue up the, the uh, frond, we get back to normal penny. So we have normal penny, the spore producing penny, and then normal penny again. So this one has a common name of interrupted fern. But this is Osmunda claytoniana, interrupted fern. And we see that several of these are interrupted. But if you were to see a fern kind of like the one next door, it, you know, these, it's quite a challenge to tell which species it is because we know they're right next door to each other. Once you get good at it, you can look at the tips here and see that one has a very rounded tip and the other one's a little more of a pointed tip on, the, uh, on each of these little pinnules here. But here we see the nice kind of basket, circular basket nature of this young guy. So Osmunda uh, claytoniana, the interrupted fern, and Osmundastrum cinnamomium, and that's the cinnamon fern. And in just a little bit, we're going to take a look at, uh, uh, oh, you know what, I bet we could find some right handy over here. Let's go see if we can find some royal fern. Oh, nice find that we have here of our, uh, one of our third Osmundaceae here, Osmunda regalis, royal fern. Well, first of all, we look here, we see that it's really quite different from the interrupted fern and the cinnamon fern. These penny look really quite different. And then you see at the top of one of these penny is our sporophyll. So it's coming off and it's connected to one of the other ones. So it's not interrupted and it's not totally separate. We see that it's growing at the top of, an, of, a, of the part of the frond with normal penny on here. And the whole thing, this whole royal fern, can make a pretty good crown here. I don't know if this is why it's called that. I mean, it, this is typically grows in a bit of a circular basket. And, uh, but here you can see the fronds from previous years have fallen down. And they will, you know, eventually decompose, but they also help trap more sediment and leaves and so on. And the whole thing just grows up a little taller. So we get this kind of crown effect going on. So 
royal fern. Another word for royal is regal. So Osmunda regalis is our royal fern here, the third of our Osmundaceae. Pretty neat. And so you can find these right next to cinnamon fern. As a matter of fact, we just turn to our side here and uh, we see our cinnamon fern. Look at how nice and tall and that's another, just a beautiful fern here, and we see our sporophyll in the middle. So uh, the, uh, the royal fern can grow right in a beaver pond, and we see some out there that are kind of like in islands. And then the cinnamon fern is another one that can withstand quite a bit of water, but would grow maybe into the drier land as well. And then the interrupted fern you can find out in the woods anywhere that's just a little bit damp, a mesic woods.